is a light heavyweight contest this, scheduled for six three minute rounds of boxing. Timekeeper ringside is Bob Edgeworth from Bromley and upon the sound of the bell the third man in the ring is our scoring referee should the fight go the distance introducing Terry O'Connor from Birmingham. Firstly boxing out of the blue corner. His weight for the contest 12 stone 5 pounds 4 ounces. He has 45 visits to the ring as a professional boxer, 21 victories, 15 finishing inside the scheduled distance, 24 defeats on his record. He's wearing the black shorts trimmed with white this evening, the box is out of Riga, Latvia. Introducing the Viking, Oleg's Fedotov. And across the ring, boxing out of the red corner. Here's a weight for the contest, an even 12 stone, 9 pounds. 20 visits to the ring as a professional boxer. 17 victories, 13 of those 17 finishing inside that scheduled distance. Two defeats and one draw make up his record. Tonight he's wearing the white shorts trimmed with black and gold. The box is out of Enfield, London. Would you please welcome the wise guy? It's Frank Buglione! <laughs> Referee Terry O'Connor will now issue his final instructions to both boxers. Thank you, gentlemen, for your expects. Shake hands with us to our boys today. This is a light heavyweight pulse as we are scheduled for six three minute rounds of boxing. So Frank Buglioni here in the white and gold shorts, looking to reinvent himself tonight. He'll hope for better opposition than this in the future, although Oleg Sveratovs is tough, he's proved that, but stopped early at middleweight by both Callum Smith and indeed Chris Eubank Jr. Giuliani should be far too good, but still a test, Richie, when you move up like this. He's moving up, obviously, to light heavy now, but he, he looks very, very determined as Frank Giuliani. Obviously, in his last contest against that Fidel Chudinov, the WBA Super Middleweight title. Oh, God, oh, left that hook there from Giuliani. What a statement this is. Fedotovs is shaky. He's done well to stay on his feet there. Yeah. Only Callum Smith and Chris Eubank Jr. have stopped this fella early. Over here. But here, I mean, Frank Buglioni, he's really going for it, isn't he? I said he looked determined as he came out. Wants to make a statement here, no doubt. Well, having fought for world title honours at Super Middle, he doesn't want to hang around light heavy, and he's not hanging around here. Good right to the body there from Buglioni. Just trying to... Mix up the attack, right hook there as well, gets through. Fedotov is still not recovered. Still not recovered, taking Trying big shots here. Up, Richie, Terry O'Connor's had a look here. Fedotov's throwing back there. Still over a minute left, and Buglioni piles on the pressure and stops it sensationally, because that is a durable opponent in there. Benatops is trying to plead his case, but he's unsteady on his legs. And if you wanted to make a statement at a new weight, Richie, well, he's just made it. Well, he's only been stopped seven times in the 24 defeats that he's had for the tops, but that was a, a good performance there from Buglioni. He went to work straight away behind his jab, but it was the accuracy in his work, especially with the right hand and then the left hook also hurt his opponents. And that final right hand right at the end there, Buglioni, a slashing shot across the target. Super punch indeed, and Fedotovs, he's just speaking to him there to say, yeah, you caught me with some big punches. Let's have a look here. There's that jab, that's a super shot. Then there's a short right up we got on the inside from Buglioni. But there's this left up to the body look, so he's hurt him downstairs, switches the attack of the left up to the head. He's not recovered, great right hand and left to follow, and another left hook. The referee nearly jumped in there, but watch this for a right hand. That was that slashing shot I talked about. Super punches, pins him on the ropes. Terry O'Connor rightly called it off. Yeah, it was a good bit of refereeing for which he deserves. 
Real credit there, Terry O'Connor, because he knows that Fedotovs can hang around. Doesn't mean he has to hang around. And there's the celebration from Frank Buglioni. A new chapter in his career starts right here, right now. Just wait for the official announcement here for our MC Paul Booth. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Timekeeper Bob Edgeworth at ringside records an official end of the contest at 1 minute 40 seconds of round number one. Terry O'Connor, our referee, stops the contest in his professional opinion. He deems that Oleg Felatovs is in no position to defend himself. Therefore, your winner from Enfield, London, it's Wise Guy, Frank Buglione! A moment, isn't he? But one senses a great deal of frustration has been taken out on Fedotovs tonight. The best way to look at it, it's the start of something better for Buglioni. But we'll find out shortly how he feels about this debut in the light heavyweight division. We'll talk to him as we continue the build-up here tonight to our main events. First on Spike and later tonight on Channel 5 with Huey Fury at heavyweight. And of course the top of the bill, Blackwell against Eubank Jr. for the British middleweight title. But Frank Buglioni speaks to us in just a moment.